something that you won't see anywhere else on the internet. I'm very confident with that statement. Uh, this is SPX chart just to show you uh, fake outs are crazy and how bots trade. And the idea, the word right now is indistinguishable. Trading bots that have come to Bitcoin make me realize that a lot of the four years of studying, I didn't waste my time. But right when I got to four years and right when I became a YouTuber, it all changed pretty much. It was changing since 2019. But until the Wyckoff thing played out, it wasn't obvious that Bitcoin price is controlled by the traditional finance bots. So once I got that, I started studying and becoming a student of SPX and NASDAQ charts, okay, the index in Q1. And this is something that I've discovered. It's glaring, but uh, oddly enough, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you'll be able to find this information somewhere else because it is obvious, but I don't know. I bet you won't be able to find somebody who said this exactly. So look at these boxes. The word is indistinguishable. The way these smart bots are trading is to create situations where smaller players who do not move the market, the scenario is indistinguishable up or down. You can't tell. You, it's impossible to tell. In the exact moment where the decision is going to be made, it looks like it'll both go up, but historically, or traditionally, it looks like it's going to go one way, but his, the history and the statistics say, uh-uh, that trigger for traditional trading to go up actually means historically that's when it goes the other way indistinguishable you literally can't tell watch so look at all these little ranges here and each of these are about five days of trading right i'm on the daily chart so this is where so this is part of an uptrend so just to show you this doesn't just happen in downtrends this was all an uptrend and two of the two of the six are in an uptrend right all right i've taken uh oh even here shit i missed one there's another one. All right. <laughs> in moments before a dump, before a strong move down, okay, I won't give away the answer, but on all of these, look on the right-hand side of the box. What happened? This is when price starts ranging. Watch. And before it has a range resolution, what happens? What happened here? What happened here? Oh, a little low, right there, yep. What happened here? So what's probably gonna happen here? If it goes down. So here's the idea. If it's gonna break down, it's probably gonna go up first and look like it's going up. But if it's gonna go up, it's also going to do that. And that's why I said the word of the day is indistinguishable. It's fucking hard to trade. <laughs> it's hard to trade uh, things that are traded by pure bots and smart algos. It, it is not easy. But they do create patterns. But it's not traditional trading. <laughs> it is not. It is, it is difficult. So here's the thing. If this is going to break down, it's probably going to go up. If it's going to break up and out of here, it's probably going to go up. That's it. That is, and so, it, but it also happens to the upside. And I don't have those prepared for you. And it's easier to see on something like the one hour to four hour chart. It's very easy. You'll see some, um, and this is starting to happen on Bitcoin too. And it, it's, the word is indistinguishable. That's what these algos are doing. It's, it's creating specifically shapes and scenarios that are, it makes it indistinguishable. That, that is the word. And I bet that's probably a word that other people who created those algorithms, that was their goal. They wanted to make it indistinguishable where you couldn't tell, uh, or at least as long as you're not them <laughs> who are pulling strings and dumping $10 million in a market buy uh, to, to give an umph in one direction. Anyway, so if you see things, um, so let's say price had been bullish, whatever, you know, go up and then it just tanks, tanks, tanks. And then it looks like it finds a bottom, goes like this, and then it goes like this, and then it goes maybe like this. Let me, let me keep uh, going here. And then maybe it goes like this, and then, and then goes down. Oh, son of a bitch. Actually, this is like the bottom of Bitcoin's Wyckoff. 
That's essentially what I'm drawing. It goes down and then up. So it's the opposite is true too. You have a range in a box and before it goes up, it actually goes down. So if it's going to go up, it goes down first. And if it goes, if it's going to resolve itself to the downside, it also goes down. <laughs> and this shit is bleeding into Bitcoin. It never used to move this way. I'm telling you, like, I've almost memorized Bitcoin's chart from 2012 to 2019. Probably till now I got it through February. No, I, I it starts getting muddy somewhere in late summer of 2019. No, if 2020, yeah, I got the whole thing memorized pretty much. Um, so <laughs> I, you know, I couldn't tell you what the week of you know March the third, 2014, what color was I don't know what price I, I wouldn't be able to say that, but I just I could I could draw it like I could draw the map of the United States, I could draw the map, I could draw Bitcoin chart. Um, on log, on log, not on, not on linear. But anyway, so this crap that I just showed you, it's bleeding over into Bitcoin. And uh, so watch out for this stuff. Like, and honestly, and hopefully I've met my idea that you won't be able to find this information anywhere else on English speaking internet, anywhere. And if you do, let me know. Cause I would, I would like to uh, know who that person is. I would like to follow him or her because that's fucking good information and I bet it's kind of rare. It's like a rare Pokemon. Yes. I actually use the word Pokemon like in a good way there. It's a rare Pokemon. All right. That's what we got.